In the last video of getting started, we installed PyCharm and Python development environment. In this video, we're going to talk about variables. In order to define variables in Python, let's do a equals 10. That means a variable a is 10. Let's define b 5.67678766. It's a decimal number. And let's define c which is a string. So a is 10, b is a decimal, and c is a string, pattern play python. Now, <clears throat> this statement, which is print type a, is going to give me the data type of a. Let's run it. You can see that print python type a is classed int. Please note that these two are coming because of these statements. I'm going to just comment them out. In order to comment them out, just press the pound sign. Again, perfect. Similarly, let's do the data type for B and C. So print type A, type is gonna give the data side types of A, B, and C. You can see that int, float, and string. Now let's do some basics of Python in terms of arithmetic. This statement, which is b equals percentage 5.2 float, this is gonna give the b as 5.67 up to two place. So 5.68, which is rounding out to the next decimal place. Now, this one is going to add 100 to A. Please note that this statement is not going to change the value of A per se. The value of A is still going to be 10. So A plus 10 is 110, which is good, but the value of A is still not changed. A divided by 4, so 10 divided by 4 is going to be 2.5. And A divided by 4, floor value. In order to do floor value, just put double slash like this. You can see that the floor value equal to 2. That means it's going to get the modulus of the fraction, but not including the decimal, obviously. This is the remainder. So I want the remainder of 2. So this is 10 divided by 4. The remainder is 2. This is how you would do raise to. So a double star is your raise to the power. So let's do that. Power a raise to 2 is 100. So 10 a raise to 2 is 100 logical operator. So this is going to give me a true or false statement. It's a greater than 5, probably not, so it's going to say false. So it's going to say true, obviously 10 is greater than 5. A equals 10, yes, it's going to give me a true again. But if I'm going to change here, 5, it's going to give false because 10 is not equal to 5. It's giving me a false statement. So double equal to is how you say equal. Greater than or equal to, you can do that as well here. It's gonna still keep it. I'm sorry, it has to be post. It's gonna still keep it as true. So e equals 10 again, it's gonna give me a true here. For not equal to, you will have to use the exclamation equals. So that is not equal to. Logical operator is not equal to true. True. Obviously, A is not equal to 5. Now, this is a logical OR operator. For AND, it's going to be AND. OR, 
a is equal to 5 or a equals to 10. So it's going to be true because a is equal to 10. There you go. So these are some mathematical basics in order to get you started and primed for learning the machine learning language and how to deal with it. These are some basics of, of Python. Now let's take a look at this. This is known as assignment statement. A is the value of the A would be changed now and to be added one more 10. So it's going to be addition. Let's do that. The value of A is now going to be 20 because the value of A was modified. Now let's talk about strings. C was pet and play python so I'm going to just print C pet and play python now this statement which is C in square brackets 5 so that means start at 5th character and go till 15th for pet and play python there you go so it starts from n and goes till py, the 15th character. So from character number 5 to character 15 is going to be displayed here. This c dot upper is going to change the case of the string to all uppercase. There you go. Pet and play python. This is going to change everything into lowercase and play Python. So these are some basic programming thing from Python perspective we are discussing right now. Split. So C dot split which is the character C dot split delimiter is the space. This is a space here. Let's see what's gonna come look like. Pet space and space play space Python and that's why it's converted into this form. And finally length len of c is going to give you the length of c and length of c is 19 characters so i hope this was useful uh, the code is provided in the google drive link the google drive link is in the description section of the video thank you for watching